Hello everyone. Cyber attacks are running hot this week. This is already the third outbreak alert I'm recording this week. And yeah, what else to say? There's a lot of movement happening in cyberspace right now. And this attack is quite interesting. We talk about Androghost, a malware. So in this case, it's not just a vulnerability which is being exploited, it's actually a file which is being, being deployed in a compromised environment. And Underghost malware is a Python-based malware. So Python-based means it pretty much runs on any operating system, whether it's Linux, Macs, um, Windows, etc. It can be executed on all of these systems, which broadens that Turk surface quite a bit. And this specific malware is stealing a specific file, environment files, because environment files usually contain very sensitive information. For example, if I set up a connection to my public clouds or any other kind of services, very often, uh, for example, API keys stored in these environment files, usernames, passwords, so very, very sensitive information. And actually, back last year, March, 2023, so almost one year ago, we released a threat signal report highlighting what Underghost malware is doing because we already saw decent amount of activity regarding that specific malware. And we categorize it as espionage because the goal of this malware is to steal sensitive information. Now, let's go back to 2024. And as you can see, this malware is very popular at this point in time. The exploit prediction scoring system scores it at almost 98% likelihood that you will be at attacked with that specific malware. But also what's interesting is that if you think about it, that malware needs to be deployed in an environment to steal sensitive information because otherwise it cannot achieve it, its goal. Now, in this case, they use vulnerabilities, which are out there, as you can see here in PHP unit from 2017 in the Laravel framework in 2018 and Apache web server 2021. So the vulnerabilities used in this specific outbreak alert, they're quite old. I mean, 2017, that's uh, back in the WannaCry days. Um, I know we all have PTSD from that kind of time, but we, that's almost seven years. Um, and as you can see, this specific outbreak alert really showcases how attackers are leveraging older vulnerabilities to deploy that kind of malware in your system. Now, that's why when we go down here and look at the protection layers, it's we don't just stop the delivery of the specific malware, but also we have IPS signatures which are focusing on these specific vulnerabilities. So that's how it relates to each other. And also, if we go to the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency's website, where they release key indicators of compromise associated with this malware, we can clearly see if we scroll down a little bit to the MITRE attack tactics and techniques that they follow the normal kill chain. So first of all, there's active scanning happening where these kind of vulnerabilities are potentially inside your, in your network available. And then once they are, they use these vulnerabilities for with remote code execution techniques to actually deploy that kind of malware. The details about all these three vulnerabilities are highlighted in the outbreak alert as well. You can click on the links here on the right side and you will get more details from the National Vulnerability Database. But as you can see, the base score for all of them is quite high. So 7.5 here, 9.8, and 8.1. The reason why the, the score is very high, 10 is the maximum, by the way, is all three of them have remote code execution capabilities, which means if I'm the attacker, I don't need to be physically present in that specific environment. As long as that system is connected to the internet and it's vulnerable with vulnerability from six years ago in this example, which means no one patched this vulnerability in the meantime, I can use now this vulnerability, chain it with the, the specific malware, execute it in that environment, and then steal these environment files, which contain usually very sensitive information. And as you can imagine, if attackers get access to your AWS accounts, Office 365, 
Spilio, Sanskrit, etc. They're in a quite powerful situation, especially if you host a lot of different virtual machines in the public cloud and you rely on them for your daily services and they can encrypt them, steal sensitive information, pretty much do whatever they want based on their mission's objectives. Now, the reason why we bring this up again right now is not because this is something new. As mentioned, the vulnerabilities have been here for well, some of them already seven years. The malware itself is also something which we blocked about one year ago, but we see a lot of telemetry. January 2024, when we look at our telemetry data, we see 40,000 unique 40 gate devices by average every day seeing telemetry data related to that specific malware. Now, once again, I hope this outbreak alert is something which brings value to you. And I'm aware that you probably don't go every day to our website to check all of these outbreak alerts. So if you are interested, feel free to subscribe to our outbreak alert service, which will then be automatically integrated into our product and solutions with our security fabric which gives you much, much faster updates regarding these kind of events, which helps you then to protect yourself against these kind of attacks and really give you a good idea about what kind of attacks do we see thanks to our huge amount of sensors all over the internet and will help you to defend yourself a little bit better. Until next time, this is Jonas from 40 Guard Labs. Bye-bye.